Doctor, the oncoming stall. Okay, so um, this is a game I played in my AT2, a tier 5 British tank destroyer. Um, tier 7 match, however, so I'm not feeling too confident about this. However, on the plus side, there's only one tier 7 tank on each side. So as long as I don't come in contact with their IS, I do stand a chance. Although, to be fair, either their KV-1Ss are going to devastate me as well. But, either way, uh, the the game's underway. Um, on this map, I always like to shoot across the square that's where the flag is. Whether, this is. whether it's an encounter map like this one, or a standard map where the flags are at either end of the... Uh, map, I always like to head to that position, and I'll, I'll head to G1 if I'm starting down south, and I'll head to E1 if I'm heading, uh, if I'm starting at the top. However, in this case, um, our Hellcat has already got there, he's a tier higher than me, and uh, a lot faster than me, and so, uh, and he's been joined by several other tanks, so there's no point me going down that road whatsoever, there's enough people there. So I'm having to change my tactic and I'm heading down the next prong along. See if I can see anything. M7's just shown himself, but I don't wait for it to aim with the first one and I miss with the second one. So it muffed that right up. Um, not feeling great about myself at this point. That was really stupidly played, but I played it the way I did. No point harping on about it. Carry on with the game. T-43, that desperate to uh, get out in front, he just bangs into me and carries on. But, as it happens, he is about to help me out quite a lot. He's about to uh, draw the fire of everybody down that prong on the other side of me. Just in case they want to hide behind the stuff in the cap circle, destroy that. Now I'm moving on. There's a lot of tanks down there, so I definitely want to be showing them my front. Here we go. Easy shot. Another easy shot. He's out of range before I can uh, reload. But I, st I still had a go. There's a KV-1S behind me. I'm not feeling great about that, but never mind. Here comes the KV-1. Bounced my first shot, bounced my second shot, third one goes through. And I'm happy to just stay here hitting him as he comes at me. Now I've taken uh, some damage either from their Hellcat or their M6. It's their Hellcat. And I've got him. There's kill number one. But I'm down to about half health now, or over halfway through my health. And here comes the most idiotic bit of play I've ever seen. I've just been rammed by an M7. Now an M7 does not have the... Does not <laughs> have the weight to do me much damage. So he just suicided on me. But unfortunately, I got outflanked there. Nothing I could do about that. And that's the game over for me. If you look at our team, we've only got about three guys left. So I stick with this and watch out our game. Now if they play well, there's a good chance we could win this. Um... However, if they decide sideways on is a good tactic against the KV-1S, then we're going to lose. So I skip to our last remaining tank, an ELC AMX. I'm not going to lie, against KV-1S's, he doesn't stand a chance. That IS he doesn't stand a chance against. And that's it, the game's over for us. And so, uh, on to the results for that game. Um, as you can see, I actually uh, damaged several tanks. I also managed to put one 
damage on that Stug because he rammed into the back of me. But uh, damaged quite a lot of enemies, um, killing two of them, one of which was the stupidest ram I've ever seen. But uh, yeah, um, for a defeat, six 600 XP, not bad at all, to be honest with you. Uh, 2100 credits. If we look at the team score, I'm at the top there. Um, didn't do the highest amount of damage. Um, but still second highest on my team, highest amount of XP. If you look at that, um, I I fired 24 times, 18 hit, 12 penetrated. Uh, just over a thousand damage, was hit seven times, two penetrated, five non-penetrations. So uh, I was done in with two shots. But I still managed to damage five of them and kill two of them and made a profit of 1400. And uh, so on to the next game that I wanted to show you. This is one I played in my T32. As you know I've been playing my T32 a lot recently because I want to get up to my M103. Um, so this is another game that I played that I have the similar sort of luck as I did in the last one. Um, in the last one, I lost because I was out on my own and I got outflanked. Uh, I couldn't handle the number of tanks coming at me. My tank destroyer is great from the front. Enemies got round behind me, blew me away. It happens, and our team lost. Um, this is a game where uh, it's not the same sort of situation. I actually survived this game. But um, in this one, uh, I'm kind of let down a bit by my team. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know I'm not keen on typing in chat. I find it very difficult to type in chat and uh, play the game at the same time. So uh, I very rarely write in chat, but I will if I need to. And this is one of those few games where I actually write something in chat because it's necessary good early hit on that Lux, someone else finishes him off. So good start for me, but my tracks have just taken a hit and from something that I can't see. Never a good start. But the only reason they can see me is because I've just fired my gun. I'd have hoped that I could see them as well, but I can't. And no following shots come in, uh, so never mind. What I really need is for someone to go down there and scout. But I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't want to go down there and scout. In fact, I don't want to go down there and scout. However, if that KV-1S was to push forward, I would push forward with him in a second. Back him up like anything. But I can't guarantee that he will, so I'm not going to. There we go. IS-6. Tracked him. Did him some damage. He fired at me. Did the sum total of fuck all. So, uh... That was a good exchange. Ooh, there's a KV-1S there now. Good shot into the KV-1S. He's damaged my tracks. So I can live with that. KV-6. Bounces again. I don't know where he thinks he's aiming for on my tank. If IS-6. I think I said KV-6. I, think. I meant IS-6. An IS-6 should be able to pen me. clearly not aiming for the right spots. I just bounced off that KV-1S. That's annoying. But it happens. Come on IS-6, stick your nose out. So I've had a, I've had a pretty lucky game so far. Uh, lots of... Uh, Lots of shots that have gone in, one bounce, and every shot that's hit me has been either bounced or eaten by my tracks. So, at the moment, I'm feeling quite good about myself. Second miss, and unfortunately, my gun is now empty as that IS-6 sticks his head out. Damn it. Oh well. And now he doesn't want to stick his head out for anything. I'm thinking now, uh, I want to push forward a little bit, I think. I'm 
nothing is happening. And I can't see round that corner. The IS-6 has moved to the other side. Track him, but without doing any damage. He's managed to move out of range. That's pointless, to be honest with you. So, uh, not concerned about that. And that KV-1S has moved forward. Just noticed that. Don't let him go down there on, on his own. He needs backup. So pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. Now we're not doing particularly well. Uh, it's 4-7 at the moment. A second ago it was 3-7. We just got another kill. But either way, front ways on. Round into the side of that IS-6, but it bounces. And he doesn't actually appear to be firing at us. I don't know what his tactic here is, but... I'm going to take advantage of it. And I've brewed him up. And I get my first kill. Not a satisfactory one because, let's face it, uh, that was easy. He let us have it, more or less. Right, at this point, I'm thinking it's 8 5 to them, 9 5 to them. We need to cap. Our only chance of winning this is to, is to cap. So. I break with my normal tradition and I type in that. I, uh, if you look on chat any second now, I'm going to write cap. That's because we need to cap. The only chance we really have of winning this is capping. Most of us are down by, there it is, up on the screen. And you, you'll see uh, our T-34 has said affirmative. They've just started their cap though. We need to not only cap, but we need two or three of us in the cap circle. Minimum. I'm still running for the cap. Looking at their counter. Is it 21, 22, 23, 24? It's at 25 seconds when I start our cap. We desperately need more people in it. Fire at that Jag Panther, even though... Uh, even though... Jag Panzer, sorry. Uh, even though I know that he's disappeared off my screen, um, I still know where he is. I'm pretty sure that shot will have done him some damage, but I don't know at the moment. And here we go. There's a couple in there with me, but look, our, our KV-1S has decided the best place for him to be is outside the cap circle. There we go. The Jag Panzer is dead. And the game's over. Now, I'm not saying we had a great chance. It was at 25 seconds, the count, when I uh, when I got to the cab circle. But if all of us had got in there, and maybe our tank that was in the town had decided it would head back and maybe defend the cap, we might have got a better result there. Even so, still a good game for me, but it would have been much nicer if, if the team had worked well together. Okay, so uh, here are the results of that game. 650-odd uh, XP, 36,000-odd um, coin, uh, but as I said before, defeated. Base capture. Uh, would have been nice if we'd won that, if maybe all of our team had decided to try and cap, or our guy that was midway up the map had maybe turned around and gone back to defend the cap. Didn't happen, can't win them all. Um, looking at the team score, there I am in second place. Uh, you'll see that I have the highest damage caused, but if you see the uh, tank in first place, a Tiger, a lower tier tank, that's why, uh, though he caused less damage than me, he's got first position. I can't begrudge him that. In the last few days, I've had many games where I've been in a lower tier tank. I've got bonus XP for attacking tanks higher up than me. Well done to him. Good game played if he can su not only survive, but damage tanks that are in a higher tier than him. Well played. Um, going on to the detailed report, you'll see uh, fired 12 times, 10 of them hit, 8 of them penned, giving me a total damage of, total damage cause, sorry, of uh, 2,281. And uh, I was hit 8 times, 6 didn't pen, 2 did, and I think my tracks ate them, so uh, not a great deal of damage caused at all. If you look at my auto repair bill, it's only 550 credits. 
Uh, obviously had to pay for all 12 shots I took. So uh, still earn a heck of a lot of money. Well, not a heck of a lot, but a good amount of money on a defeat uh, from that from that game. Uh, potential damage received, 2,210. So obviously if all those uh, shots had landed and been better fired, uh, better aimed, uh, I would be dead. Uh, but spotted three enemies, damaged four, killed two. Uh, and got 175 spotting damage. Not a great deal. Um, it was a good game. It's just a shame we didn't win it. And we could have. With both of those games, had things gone slightly differently, could have been looking at victories. But, never mind. Anyway, I hope you like, the, hope you like these games. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.